Hi, I'm Christian Fahirman, and today we are going to talk about advanced and large scale sheep farming. The music is crystal, baby. This is a sheep farm we have located in some part of the world. Uh, on this farm we have over 8,000 sheep on this farm, of which some are made purposely for milking and some are also for uh, meat purposes. So we would like to take a tour through this farm today. So let's take our tour. Let's move. So we can see sheep both on my left and on my right side. And these are sheep which have not started milking yet. So we can see them at a certain age. They are selected for breeding and then they are inseminated. However, on this farm, we don't do artificial insemination. We breed them manually using male sheep. So on my immediate right hand side, you can also see another group of sheep. They are all at different stages of uh, growth as we can see them. Uh, we can see the sheep are looking very healthy and uh, the wool of the sheep uh, have been shared just to reduce uh, the amount of heat produced in the system of the sheep. So we can see the feed which is also given to them. This is feed made from hay and then some other ingredients added to it to make it wholesome for their consumption. This is a very big farm, as you can see. We advocate, as you can see here, this is a great investment opportunity and then uh, a great privilege for the government to look at this area when it comes to the animal uh, sector in Ghana and invest into animal production, sheep production, having a well-structured procedure so that we can involve the youth actively in this uh, production. This will help improve the economy of Ghana. As you know, uh, one of the main contributing uh, uh, sector that adds up to the GDP and that increases the GDP of Ghana is the agricultural sector. So not only Supporting, just Excuse me. say, uh, the non the uneducated in the uh, agricultural sector, but supporting the educated one, giving them trainings and pushing them into this sector. And as they work hard, we see that our country grows, and then we uh, uh, become economically independent. So let's take off. Let's continue with our tour. These ships are so beautiful. You can see they are tailless. What happens is that when they are giving birth, we do what we call docking. And docking is uh, a practice. What we do is that we, we, it's, it's mainly meant to cut the tail. But not cutting it manually, we put something like a tie, a rubber tie, but a very tight one on the tail of uh, the ship. Then as uh, the ship grows, automatically that place cuts off. And then when it grows into a full ship, a mature ship, we get it this way. We call the process docking. We realize that on this farm, every ship has a number. Every ship has a tag. This is very, very essential on every farm because on every animal farm so that you can be able to trace 
each and every animal on the farm. You can be able to keep records on each and every animal on the farm. So we have the numbers on the ear and when you look, you take a close look at the legs of some of the uh, sheep, you can see they are also having uh, tags on their legs. Mostly everything is, is computerized. So when they go for milking, what happens is that uh, as they are being milked, the number of liters of each sheep is recorded by the tag on the leg and then transferred onto the uh, farm's computer system. So we can get uh, an updated, consistent record of each and every sheep on the farm. It makes farming easier and amazing. Sweet! enjoying over here so the main method adapted over here is the intensive method of uh, keeping hey. farm animals. Hey.